Morning guys, Sean here from Hammerhead. Figured I'd do a little chat outside. It's actually not a bad day out here today. It's a little windy, but not so bad. I uh, just want to get a few things off my chest. It's been eating at me for a little few days now, so I figured I'd do a video. And it's got to do with what's going on in the country, in Ottawa. A lot of the rumors that are floating around, they can't be confirmed or denied about the UN's involvement. Some people think that the soldiers, let's call them, because that's what they were, uh, in Ottawa weren't Canadian. They were from other countries. I can't confirm or deny that. Um, just because there was aircraft spotted in uh, North Bay doesn't necessarily make that so. Um, one thing I can tell you though, it's going to be awful hard to trust the police ever again in this country. And if you're wearing a uniform, you're all, you're you're almost uh, saying to everybody that you're a coward at this point. I want to know where our where our military is. I know when I was in the military, I swore, swore an oath to serve and protect the people and uh, the crown as well, but the people. And uh, where is our military? Is there a military even in Canada that isn't controlled? I don't know. I haven't seen them. I haven't seen anybody. Uh, so right now they're regrouping, trying to figure out what to do next. The country is going to go on a strike, I believe, starting today um, and, and forward. I don't think ever, anyone's going to go to work. Uh, people are encouraging everyone to stay home. Call in sick for the next two, three weeks, whatever. Take all your vacation time, whatever you got to do. Just don't go to work. Don't stay home. Don't burn their gas. Don't do anything to support them in any way, shape, or form. If they're going to act like uh, communists and dictators, uh, then we don't support that here. And I can tell you one thing for sure is every 24 hours that goes by, we're getting more and more support from everywhere. Don't expect the, the Parliament to save you. If those people that say they're on our side weren't down in Ottawa supporting the people when they were getting tear gassed and trampled by horses, they're not on your side, okay? As far as I'm concerned, that's a whole den of vipers down there. They're not on anybody's side. They're on their own side. Um, but this is, doesn't mean give up hope at all. Like I said, uh, this is just round one. Uh, there'll be more than 15 rounds in this fight. I'd be, sh I'd be, I could be sure of it. But anyway, an update on my brother. Um, he's lost his truck and trailer. Uh, they've confiscated all his bank accounts, and they're looking at uh, possibly trying to take his house from him. So, if this is the the country you want to live in, then uh, this is what's happening. So, this is not the country I fought for. It's not the one I want to grow up in or I want to live in. It's not the one I want my kids to live in. So I'm never going to stop. As long as this heart's beating and I got blood in my veins, I'm never going to stop. You can club me, you can beat me, you can do whatever you want to me. It doesn't make any difference to me at all. Zero. I'm never going to submit. I'm never going to stop. Ever. So you better shoot me, I guess. But anyway, this is uh, the reality of what's happening. And it's not just Canada, like I've been saying in my videos. It's around the world, guys. This, this is going to take place everywhere. It's part of their plan. It's part of their plan. Right? Um, so resist. Don't comply. Don't submit. Do nothing. I think Canada basically is planning on going and sitting on the street. That's what they're going to do. They're going to sit on our hands. No more delivery of goods, no more delivery of food, no more service support, no more nothing. If you think you're going to take over our country without a fight, you got another thing coming. And just because Canada's been nice up to this point and peaceful and loving doesn't mean it's going to stay that way. All right. I know that's hard for some of you to understand or to believe or to think, but that's the way it is. When you go to another country and you're in, at war with another country, you don't go there with flowers, you go there with machine guns. Sadly, that's, that's how wars are fought. I'm not saying that's what's going to happen here, but it sure looks that way. It sure looks that way. Because there's, I'm not the only one that's just not going to, uh, that's going to just uh, stand up. Uh, there's a lot of other people that are going to stand. Right, so. Stay tuned. Any more things come down the pike, I will let you know, to the best of my ability. 
The thing in Ottawa, uh, for now, the police have pushed everybody outside of the city. They have it all barricaded up. They're calling it a red zone, meaning you're not allowed in there for whatever reason. So the charter rights are no more. They've been suspended by the Swazi government. Uh, you, do no long, you no longer have the right to do anything, according to them. Although you, the charter is still an act, it's still functioning. It is still the superior law of the land and always will be, no matter what they say. They're illegitimate guys. Everything they've ever done since this has started, all the mandates, all the restrictions, it's all illegal. It's all a lie. They have no power to do any of it. The only time they have the power is when you give them the power by complying. So take that face diaper off and throw it in the fire where it belongs and do nothing to support them at all. Don't do anything. Don't pay your taxes. Don't do a thing. Just sit on your hands and we'll see how that goes. Anyway, thumbs up for war amps. Stay classy. Cheers.